it's Emmy from Emmy Made in Japan. Um, back with the uh, Gumi X or Gummy X, if you want to pronounce it in the English version. Um, thanks for being so patient, and finally we're here. Um, I'm here to show you what it's about. For those of you who didn't see the other video, um, I'll put the link in the bottom. But uh, Gummy X is this edible candy. Um, insect making kit. There's the instructions again, pretty lengthy. Um, a rundown of the ingredients. So check this out. First we need gelatin. Then we need some sugar. Then we need some blueberry jam. Then we need some um, grape juice and some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, in the big kit, like I mentioned before, it comes with this special kind of, uh, over here, tray to put the hot water in, and then you're supposed to heat your little beaker in the hot water, but I don't have that big kit, so I'm gonna use this beaker that they gave me, and a bowl, and put this in the hot water. So I've got my little thermos of hot water. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, there, increments. So five milliliters of lemon juice and 25 milliliters of grape juice. Five mils of lemon juice. So 30 mils total. We take our 30 mils of juice and we pour it, no, Take our bowl and start to warm it up. Check this out. So our beaker's in our bowl, and now I'm gonna add boiling water to heat this up. The point of adding the water and obviously heating it up is to dissolve the gelatin and Sugar. grams of sugar, which is three teaspoons. So I'm just using these little packets. Two teaspoons of gelatin. Oops. Look, it's a little boat! Okay. Now stir it. So we want to stir it until the um, sugar crystals and the gelatin are completely dissolved. And then we're going to add the blueberry jam. So, so far this seems like a pretty sugary um, concoction, but all natural colors. Back to this. Two teaspoons. It's kind of gross. So. And stir it up. It's pretty full. All right, now for the fun part. Oh, it says to first fill the bodies first, the body cavities, with a little bit of the the solution to get into all the nooks and crannies, into the little cracks. Apparently it's okay if this gets a little bit messy because we can trim all the excess off later.
simple. You just kind of really just paint it into the, you know, the grooves. It's actually better to overfill than underfill. Um, so the two halves actually meet. It's already congealing. Gelatin's amazing. Um, for those of you that don't know what gelatin's made out of, um, if you want some gross research, you can go and find out. Anyways. Give thanks to the creatures that sacrifice themselves for gelatin. Okay. So the legs are pretty much filled in. Now we're going to do the main part of the body, and we can just pour that. Uh, so we'll do this one first. And we'll just pour that in there. So I have a little extra. Might be enough to make. Hmm. Maybe I can make some little like ladybugs. I mean they're not gonna be red, but you know. this um, extra bit for um, attaching all the legs on later, so we'll save that. Let's put the two halves together and then we'll have to refrigerate for about 35 minutes. Okay, let's do this. The little ones, the ladybugs, uh, let's do first. So we'll just take this and close it and squeeze. So close and squeeze and then you put these to lock. Refrigerate. 35 minutes. So squeeze. I've got jelly everywhere. And lock into place. Blech. I think I overfilled mine a little bit. In the fridge and chill them for 35 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and we'll unmold them and put them together. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I gotta go. So I'll see you soon. Bye. And I'm back with my refrigerated, completely refrigerated molds. So, okay, so take that off. Take that off. Let's open it up. This is looking very promising. So that's what it looks like. Looks like I got one lone leg over here. It looks like a purpley insect. Doesn't look as dark as it does in the on the box, but not bad. Looks like I got pretty good fidelity. Everything came out pretty clearly. Um, I'm gonna. Looks like I'm gonna have to remove some of this stuff in between. So I'm just cutting. See that? Just cutting the extra off. All right, so I'm gonna take. Cool. There's my main body of the. Of the rhinoceros beetle. That's his top, that's his carapace, and that's his underbelly with his little mouth. I'm really impressed with the detail. I'm really impressed with the amount of detail on this little bug. So there's his body. It's simple because um, 
They're only one piece. So let's just open it. And inside. There they are. I'm pretty sure they're ladybugs. Oh yeah. Da -da 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 -da. So just like the other guys, they're gelled. And a little sheet. That's the back. It looks a little bit like a flea. And that's the other side. Can you see him? He really is an insect. Actually, he's not. He has more than six, three pairs of legs. This is not a true. Oh, actually, yes. This is not an insect. I mean, this is part of his. Those are his mandibles. This. So I think he really is an insect. So he does have six legs. So he is an insect. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna glue him all together. All of the parts attached. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna add a little bit more gelatin to reinforce the joints. More cooling off. Here he is. Let's take him off of the plate and um, hopefully his legs will stay on. And sure enough, there he is. That's awesome! Look at that. That is pretty amazing. So, his legs are a little bit floppy. So I'm really impressed with the amount of detail on this thing. I mean, that's really detailed. So I know you're all wondering what it tastes like, right? Because I am. So far it smells like um, grape, which is perfect for me, because <laughs> it's mostly grape juice. And his legs, looks like a mandible's falling off. All right, ready? Mmm! Really good. You just taste like jelly. Like, um, not really gummy, not really chewy, but like, um, like grape jelly. Mm-hmm. It's tasty. Tastes like grape jelly and um yeah, the texture is kind of it's just like jello, uh, but a little bit firmer. It's great. Thanks again for waiting and um being patient and waiting for Gumi X to come. Uh there's your beetle and um yeah, it was a lot of fun, and thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!